You're looking to add a green screen to your project, but you don't want to buy one or don't know how to set one up. Well, today I can tell you how to take your stream from looking like this to this very quickly. Let's get into it. First off, I want to say thank you for stopping by. My name is Cyrus, and I'm here to improve your streams, not only for you, but also for your viewer. If you enjoy these videos, make sure you hit a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications so you don't miss a video like this. Also, check me out on Twitch. I stream three days a week. I'd love for you to stop by and ask me questions as well as join our darkness discord. It's full of streamers, community members. I think it's the best community around. So make sure you jump in and go ahead and collaborate with everyone there. It'll be a fantastic time. Um, without that out of the way, let's get into the content for today. So the program we're talking about today is none other than NVIDIA broadcast. So many people have already covered this, but I want to make sure that I do a dedicated video on this channel talking about how to make your stream look better and what ways you could possibly use this. So let's go over into the computer and I'll go ahead and show you where to grab it as well as provide those links in the description so let's get into it all right so the first step is you have to go to the website and download nvidia broadcast so go ahead and click download now and put it on your computer i should also say that this is limited to those who have an rtx graphics card so the 20 series or the 30 series and i think like rtx voice there might be a workaround for the 10 series I don't know of that yet. As soon as I do, I'll put something in one of the comments and pin it. So make sure you're checking all that out down there. Once it's downloaded and installed, you're going to see something very similar to this. If I can go and get it to open. All right, so what you're going to see is this little panel right here. I can't make it any bigger, so we're going to have to see it in this. So if you've had RTX voice in the past, you'll know that there is the microphone and speakers to be able to set you up for noise removal for uh, you not only for your microphone, but also for your party chat so that you can get rid of maybe their mechanical keyboards or your mechanical keyboard or whatever sounds you have in your house. There's so many videos about RTX voice. Go and check that stuff out. My only recommendation to you is if you're going to use uh, RTX voice make sure you set your appropriate audio source to what you're going to be using and make sure that you don't turn your strength all the way up unless you actually need it because it actually starts negatively impacting your sound for your voice um, so just make sure that you choose the appropriate thing there um, so the other thing that we're gonna be talking about is the actual beta version for this camera and we're gonna talk about how this uh, this is impactful for you and other things that you can use and uh, some really good ways that you can use it for your stream so I'm actually gonna take us to my intermission screen so within the app right now I have which you can't see very much in the corner there's several effects to choose from there's background blur which is what you're currently looking at I can increase Increase the strength of that this is the least amount of strength this is the most amount of strength you can see everything around me just blurred um, and if I turn that all the way down I'm getting a light maybe like a DSLR effect a little bit of a background and it kind of blends well um, when you turn this all the way up you get that tearing right here and you're kind of able to tell the difference but keeping it low you can't really tell that and so this is what I'm gonna be using on my screen another one you can do is actually choose background replacement so it'll go ahead and green screen you and you can choose an image for it to go ahead and replace you with so I've got an image here of a 1080p um, piece so right now I've just put in the image and it's overlaid in the camera you can kind of see my chair peeking through in the back and you can even see it tearing a little bit here there's not a slider to adjust that but for for this purpose this is actually really good you can also choose just background removal which will just go ahead and remove it so you can green screen yourself and then the last one is auto frame where when you move your head um, it's a really uh, it's a neat feature so that you can kind of have movement around on the screen you can move around and it'll go ahead and frame it to you and keep that nice and neat so um, and you can also change the zoom so if I wanted to zoom in a lot onto my face wow that's uh, that's really far in and you can tell like the sharpness of my camera um, but then you can also tune, tune the zoom all the way out 
and it just barely have a little bit of zoom. So you can have a little bit of fun with that. Um, but here's an application. It might look weird to have the background removal. It kind of looks a, a little janky at times, but to be honest, it's, it's actually pretty good. All right, but if I go ahead and take this frame and shrink it down, you're gonna tell a huge difference in the quality of this and how you're not gonna notice some of the tearing on my face. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up a game. Um, and so if I pull myself down and I'm streaming, I'm just gonna go ahead and set up like I would if I'm streaming, I'll put my headphones on and so we're just playing a little bit of Valorant right here and so what you're seeing is kind of what it would look like you can't really tell like if you look down here you know you can see the tearing if you're really looking for it but when it comes down to the actual gameplay you're not going to be telling too much of, of what's happening so um, so I think this is a really cool effect for you if you really want to do this. Like I think it's I think it's a really fantastic thing to try to implement into your stream. So take some time and really invest in this and see what you think could be useful. And uh, and yeah, so. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and throw a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, as well as ring that bell for notifications. I'm putting out a lot of videos like this trying to help you for your stream and to improve the streaming experience for your viewers. So make sure you do that. Make sure you check me out on Twitch. I stream three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also, check me out in Discord. Go ahead and join the Darkness Discord and connect with everyone. And yeah, I think that's about it. So again, I'm Cyrus and welcome to the darkness. Catch you next time.